Listen to the people that I've spoken to this morning, the Brits who work here, and they are shell-shocked and they are devastated. And you know what? I think that goes right up to the top of the institutions here. I don't think anyone really believed that UK voters would decide to Brexit. Well, it's quite interesting because while uh, Boris Johnson there was speaking and saying, look, we don't need to do this too quickly, we don't need to invoke Article 50, which is what contains all the details of a divorce effectively from the EU, we heard from the leaders of the institutions, they put out a statement saying, we expect the British government to move as soon as possible to move ahead with the, the uh, Brexit proceeds effectively, that they are also have Article 50 in place, which will allow them to do that, that extraction process. So already we're seeing differences in the approaches here. And actually the key line for me basically says, there will be no renegotiation. So they still seem to be taking a very tough line, the line that they've taken all the way along, that you can't vote for a Brexit here and then come back and go, OK, guys, we'll use this as leverage to get better. Remember, these guys want to send a strong message to those in Germany, in France, in the Netherlands, that are also saying, hey, we'd quite like a referendum here too. And it seems like these guys are taking a firm line. The president of the council this morning said, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Guys, I'd say at this moment, I don't see whether it's for the UK or for the EU, quite frankly, what makes us stronger here. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.